the big paper. Um, these are thicker, so we'll wait on those a little bit. Time for a preview. anymore. No, we are out as far as we can go. We'll do that. I like the really thin paper because it goes down really well, but I don't use thin paper a lot. <laughs> so that was really thin though. I like that. really thin too. Um, about a lot of the comments that you guys leave and I, I really wanted to tell you that how, how much I appreciate hearing from you I really love when you comment and when you give little tips and tricks and things that you learned along the way the things that you do I, so I appreciate it. Thank you so much if you comment and you watch my videos. I try to answer everyone. If I ever miss you, it's not because I'm ignoring you. I just didn't see it. Um, the more people that join and the more people that comment, um, which, you know, right now it's still real minimal. It's not real, real big. It's not hard to keep track of. But um, I try to answer everybody because I appreciate it. And a way of saying thank you, that I appreciate you watch, is to acknowledge what you say, and I want to hear what you have to say, and I want to talk to you. You know, sometimes there's not much to say back, except thank you. But, sometimes there is. So, just those of you who are pretty regular about commenting or watching, just thank you. It really has been um, encouraging and a, and a good experience for me when I started my channel. I started my channel a while back, but I didn't post any videos or anything. But when I started posting videos, boy, I was I was scared. <laughs> I was scared to do it. But it was one of those things where I was just determined I was going to overcome that too. I This last year, really year and a half now, has been a year and a half of overcoming for me. I have taken several things that have been issues for me and been working on overcoming them. And one is um, weight loss. I'd gained a lot of weight. I won't go into the whys and all that stuff. Um, there's different reasons. All avoidable. <laughs> but, you know, you make choices and I made bad choices. But, I don't have to live with that. I can change that. And so I've decided 
I decided to overcome that. So I started working on that last year, and you you all know I've lost some weight. So that's still and that's still in the process. That's why I'm going to Zumba and all the biking and everything else, you know. And after I get all the weight off, um, I will continue to be active and do this kind of stuff. I will probably do more maintenance, like maintaining kind of stuff, instead of driving myself into the ground. But still, I will be active because I was always active as a kid and younger. Anyway, life life changed and got in the way. I got in my own way. <laughs> so, uh, but that's been one thing I've been overcoming. The other thing I decided to overcome was my fear of the video camera, trying to get my, uh, to do videos and put them online. And cause, because I, I wanted to do them just to share and to be engaged with people. And I've said engaged several times in this video. I don't know why. That's my word of the day, I guess, engaged. I think it's a good word, though. I think it's uh, it says exactly how I feel. Engaged is, you know, how I want to be with a lot of y'all. Um, anyway, so I decided that I was going to overcome that because, you know, when you create, you always know that there's somebody better than you. You always know there's that somebody's going to criticize. You always know there's that chance that you won't do well. And so I just decided to overcome that and to go for it. And you guys have made that so awesome for me. And I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I really, I really can't. I wish I could do something for every single one of you to show how much I appreciate it. But what I can do for you is create more videos and talk to you. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, so that was an overcoming because the first video I, I took my, my, my poor friend Terry. She was so patient and understanding and helpful. And I let her watch and asked her to watch several video after video after video while I learned to edit and create and talk and ask her you know what do you think and she was so supportive and so helpful without her this I don't think would have happened because I needed her to give me the feedback so got to that point where I could do it I could overcome it. And I'm still learning. I'm still growing. So we're not done yet. Then we came to the crossroads of do I get on camera and show my face or not? That was huge. Huge, huge, huge for me. Um, but I decided I didn't want to be afraid, so I, was, I just did it. I just decided to do it. So I did my first chat, I don't know, a month ago maybe? And I've only done three or four, five maybe? I don't know. I can't tell how many. I'd have to go look. And it's evolving. It's, it's improving and changing. And, you know, eventually I'll be really, really comfortable being in front of the camera. Right now I'm just not comfortable. It's very uncomfortable for me. So if y'all are thinking about doing something like that, just know that you're not alone, that it is normal. <laughs> so, um, but the fact is that I did do it. That was a big accomplishment, even though it's not perfect yet. And I don't know, it would never be perfect, but even though it's, you know, still, I'm still learning and growing, um, I overcame it and I did it. So y'all have seen me on camera. So that was a big thing. Another big thing that I had to overcome was um, bicycling. I've been on my bike for since last summer, but I wasn't riding hard and major, and that was an overcoming thing. I, I've started doing that. Every time I ride, I ride at least 20 miles, and whenever it's the weekend or whatever, I ride more. And So that's been a work in progress, so that's overcoming. The other thing I've had to overcome is the hill that I've talked about in my chat video. That hill, oh man, it's hard. Doesn't look like it would be hard when you drive it, but try riding it on your bike. Um, so I've learned to overcome that. I did that for the very first time about a week ago. Got up part one, there's two parts to the hill. Got up part one, rested, and then the next day went and did it again and then rested and went up part two. That was a major, major, major accomplishment. Then went back the following weekend and made it up part one, rested a shorter amount of time. Hold on, gotta check my computer again. Uh, 
um, I rested a shorter amount of time and took off again, and this time I did not make the hill all the way up. I had to stop part way, but it was still an accomplishment because um, I rested less time. I took the first part of the hill easier than the first time I ever did it, and I rested less time, and when I rested less time, I still made it up halfway before I had to stop. So I didn't have to take 20 minutes to rest and then go the second route, a uh, second part. I rested about, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds and went on and made halfway. That's pretty darn good. So that's a major accomplishment in overcoming. And I'm still working on the second part of the hill, make, you know, trying to get to where I can just go on all the way up. Um, and what else? Oh, Zumba, going to Zumba class. I had to talk myself into going because the tendency, at least for me, is to not try something unless you think you might do well at it. If you think you're going to fail, don't even try. And Zumba was really one of those things up there where I didn't know that I could do it, and I can't. I'm, I'm terrible at it. I suck at it. <laughs> I look pathetic at it. There's no Latin blood in this girl at all. And I had saved, I wanted to save all this for a chat video, but I guess we're going to just chat about it right now. But the thing that I was proud of and that I felt, felt was the success was that I actually went and I tried. And although I didn't do the best at it and that I have many, many, many things to learn and much improvement to make, I went. I didn't let fear stop me from going and trying. That's what makes me happy. Makes me feel like it was a success. So, now I've got my foot in the door on that, and I will go back and try again tomorrow. What else? Those are some big, major overcoming accomplishment things that I've been dealing with and working on in the works. There are more that I want to do and I want to try and I want to accomplish, but you know, right now I've got my plate full, so that's enough. Anyway, I relate all that with art, and I've told you this in one of the chat videos that I had. I relate a lot of this with art because, oh, that's a googie thing, hang on. Because you could have the same um, attitude towards art if you don't think you're good enough, you won't try. If you think somebody's better than you, you won't try. If you're afraid of getting criticized, you won't try. Um, and I just want to encourage you to don't listen to that head, that voice inside of you that tells you you're not good enough and you, you are good enough. Nobody starts out perfect. Some people may have an extreme talent for something and they do really well at it, but no one starts off without having to make improvements. There's always a starting point. And look how many times people who are successful in this world have failed before they got to where they wanted to be. But if they had never tried, they would have never gotten anywhere. I mean, bands that started in garages, um, companies that started in basements and garages that today shoot. If they hadn't done that, They'd still be sitting in their garage. So you got to start somewhere. So just start. Um, the other thing that I found interesting was Secret was talking about in her video the other day about getting on the computer, I mean the uh, internet, the videos without makeup on. Um, that to me was interesting and a big deal because I don't wear makeup hardly ever. I have never worn it much in my whole life. I just don't. If I wear it, it might be once in a blue moon and usually around winter time is when I'm most interested in it because it's cooler and you're not worried about things running and everything and I just feel more like trying it. But I've always somehow managed to go back to not wearing it. I just don't like to wear it that much I guess. I'll wear it to like if I have to go to a wedding or a funeral or something like that I'll wear it and lately 
I've been wearing it at least once a week, trying out a makeup that I um, got when a friend was here visiting, and I like it. So about once a week I'll put it on just for fun. And I've been on YouTube, the video, you know, done my chat videos with it on. But the last one I did, I did without makeup. And I remember thinking to myself, and this is before Secret did her video, I remember thinking to myself, should I get on here without makeup? Because, you know, you can see flaws, you can see age, I'm changing, I'm older. Um, maybe I should put on makeup before I do a chat video. And then I thought, no, I'm going to be who I am. I'm going to be me. And if I'm not in the mood to wear it, I'm not going to wear it. And if I feel like talking to you guys, I will. And if you have to have makeup for me to talk to you, if you have to have me in makeup, then we, I guess, will have to part ways somewhere because you will be dis disappointed in me at some point because I will let you down. And I've talked to a couple people about this makeup, no makeup thing. And the no makeup seems to win. I guess because they, as an individual, like the natural look. I personally tend to lean toward that too. So, I was really proud of Secret when she did her video and she was talking about, and I don't think it was specifically for that, but she did talk about, oh, I just need a little bit more, I need an inch on all more sides, just a little bit inch, just a little inch. Um, I don't know if that was specifically what it was for, I think she just wound up talking about it, but um, I was really proud of her for saying what she said about, you know, sometimes she wears it, sometimes she doesn't. Well, that's me too. And she's perfectly fine with herself and happy with herself and loves herself without it. And that's me too, because that's what I've decided to do. Whether or not I used to be that way or not is irrelevant. I have decided that. And when you decide something, you can do whatever you want to do. I have decided that. I'm not going to fall into that trap of thinking that I have to be a some, something that I'm not. So, that's my take on her opinion and I think she's beautiful just the way she is with or without makeup inside and outside I think everyone is special and unique in their own way and you don't need makeup or clothes of certain types or anything to prove that about yourself I think all you need is to be true to yourself and be kind and not let other people um, cause you to change who you are or act any different because of what their opinion is or what they think you should be. And we've all fallen into that trap. We've all fallen into the trap of changing who we are because it, it suits someone else's needs. And if you're younger, you may be doing that now, but I'm going to tell you, <laughs> when you get older, at least for this chick, and I don't call myself chick very often, but this chick is done with that. I am not conforming to what other, other people think I should be. I am happy being who I am. And it's good enough. I don't need to be any different to suit somebody else. And if they don't like me, that's okay. Not everybody's going to like everybody. You know, you want to be liked and you you hope everybody likes you, but you cannot please everybody. You just cannot. But what I do feel is you can be kind to everybody. You can be kind to everybody no matter whether they're unkind to you or not. Whether they treat you right or not, you can be kind. You can control how you act. And it's not easy to sit there and take something that you don't want to take from somebody but I certainly would rather be kind than not kind because I have to live with me and face me at the end of the day they have to live with them and face themselves and then God will deal with them and boy are we getting into deep conversation here and that was not the goal <laughs> secret this is why I speed up my videos if I don't I yak about things <laughs> and I don't know if I should be yakking about all this stuff but you know well Okay, 
if you haven't done this, you should try this. This is fun, guys. It really is fun. And look, I'm not even drinking my shake. I'm starving to death. I haven't made it, and I'm still I'm not drinking it. Excuse me for a minute. Every time I take a drink now, I'm so tempted because I watch Graveyard Girl. Yes, I'm a Graveyard Girl fan. I love her. Um, I always want to say sippy sippy <laughs> do the do the thing she does, but that's her trademark. That's her, so I won't do it. But I want to, and I'll do it at home, teasing and joking around. I'll do it at home. If you if you know who Graveyard Girl is, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> She has something about her that's just special. <laughs> okay, let's see. My sweet basil is on the back deck in a pot and it is blooming and growing and smells so good. I haven't used it in anything. I thought that my oregano, I think it was oregano, was going to grow back because the last two years it did, but this year so far it has not poked its head out, so I'm thinking it might be gone. I may need to plant something else there. Um, I have these ideas in my head that I want to be a gardener and have flowers and herbs and tomatoes and stuff like that. And I would love to do that. It's just that I don't want to take the time to do it. I, If I think about getting out there and getting in the dirt and digging around, it sounds fun. And I love the idea because I don't mind that at all. But I could be arting. And if I'm not arting, you know, if I'm doing that, I can't be arting. So I think what I might resort to and I think would be very good for me is container gardening. And I don't know anything about it, so I need to research some of that and just get a few containers and put them on my back deck and grow small amounts of things just to put my hand to it and pull it around with it. I love herbs. I used to, um, one year, several years actually, I had uh, herbs every year, and I love herbs. Even if I don't use them, I just love to smell them and see them growing. My favorite thing to grow, and it comes back every year, and I love this plant, and I need to put some in the back, that's what I need to do. Um, moss roses. They are so easy and so beautiful and just, ugh, you can't hardly, can't hardly go wrong with them. They're my favorite. Um, my daylilies in the back are growing. I don't have to do anything to those, so I love those. Anything low maintenance, I love that. And I have some clematis in the back that I planted a few years ago, and it keeps getting bushier and bigger. So, But I think it's in a spot where the sun gets to it too much. It needs to be a little bit more shaded, so maybe I should move it. I don't know. Either move it or um, plant more so that it's bushier. I don't know. We need to get our back deck redone so I kind of hate to start any of this stuff and then have to move it all. Bailey decided to try to remodel the back deck all on her own today. Somehow or other she wound up finding a big block of wood and she I have the back door open for a little while when it's not real hot I like to leave it open for them and they can go in and out and lay outside because she loves to sun herself. But um, she came running in the house and when she has that certain run I know she's up to something no good like earlier today she came in here and she was chewing on something I had she just had that body language and she was chewing on a mustache a cardboard mustache that's uh, went into a happy mail so the person who's receiving it you'll know that you got it because I wrote on here I wrote on it Bailey was here <laughs> on one side and Bailey tried to eat this on the other <laughs> it's got her little teeth marks on it um, but she came running in with a block of wood, and I haven't found out where she got it yet. i got to go research that. So, she's ready for a new deck, too. 